Yo, what's going on guys? Flames in here and today I'll be doing some technical analysis and also a price prediction on hot or hollow. Before we get into it, if you could leave a like, subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out. Also, if you'd like to join my telegram and the link in the description, it's just general crypto discussions here and there and I'll also be posting different trades that I make every day. And lastly, if you would like to make up to $100 for free in Bitcoin, just join the BlockFi link in the description as well. Now just sit back and enjoy. Okay, so we're starting off here on coin market cap, and we have a forty-one thousand six hundred dollar Bitcoin, and we have just below a three thousand dollar Ethereum. Now, if we move on over here to Trading View, take a quick look here at BTC. Um, we'll drop back to the daily. As you can see, yesterday we did actually manage to keep that close above the fifty-day and also the twenty-day. We also did come back and retest that falling wedge that I was talking about. If we drop back to the four-hour here, as you can see, we sort of got a good bit of price action in and around that level. We did manage to get one four hour close below that, but we did manage to bounce off the 300 moving average, then got the close above, came down, tested that 20 moving average, and then we got a nice close above the 80 EMA. Now we have actually shot the whole way up here to around 42K there, just below it. If we do manage to push up towards this level, flip that to support, then I would say we should be pushing on up through these resistance levels on up towards this yearly open at around $46,200. Hopefully this isn't another deviation, as you can see. We've had a good few of these outside of this symmetrical triangle. We've had one to the lower side, then the upper, lower, upper, lower a couple of times. And then we have actually broken out and held that as support this time. Hopefully that is the bottom and we do start climbing through these resistance levels, making some higher highs and also some higher lows. Now, if we do manage to reject off this level, come back down into this symmetrical, then I would say we will probably be breaking towards the downside and probably coming down towards this lower trend line that I have drawn up here. But if we do manage to hold this and then bounce off that, that is also higher lows compared to these two back here. And then hopefully we can push on up here to a new higher high. Now we'll move back on over here to coin market cap and we will take a look at hot or hollow. Uh, it is currently sitting at rank number 98. We're just above 0.4 cents there. We're up 0.4% today. Our market cap is 711 million. Our circulating supply is 173 billion and our total supply is 177 billion. Now, if we move down here, our all-time high is sitting in and around 3.1 cents, and that was a year ago on April 5th, and we're currently down 86.98% from then. Now, if you want to do a small read, you can have a read through coin market caps right up here. Just pause the video, or if you would like to do a little bit more fundamental research, you can move on up here to their website, which is hollowchain.org, and over here, this will show you everything that you need to know and help you make your decision on whether you would actually like to invest in this. So if you do come over here and figure that you do actually want to buy yourself some, you can move back on over here to CoinMarketCap, click on Markets, and this will show you where you can pick yourself some up. So Binance is the number one volume holder there with 15.51%. Then you've got a few other pairs here on Binance. Then you've got Bybit, Gate.io, Uniswap, Coin1, loads of different ones there. Just stick to the high confidence ones and you'll be chilling. Now we'll move on over here to TradingView. We'll do some technical analysis on this and then I will also give you a price prediction as well towards the end. So here we go. We'll take a look at this. We're on the daily. We'll drop back out here on auto. Taking a look at this on the daily, we are still within this sort of macro falling wedge that I have been talking about. If we zoom in, we are currently still rejecting off this 20 moving average. The last time we got a proper breakout, we actually did move up towards the 50 moving average, but we did reject off that. And then we got a less significant bounce, and then we did actually manage to break below. Then we were fighting with that 8 EMA, and we are currently doing similar sort of things here. If we do manage to get this daily close above that 20 moving average, then we'll definitely be moving up towards that 50. And if we do manage to flip that to support as well, then our next target would be in and around this horizontal at around that 0.49 cents mark. Now, if we manage to flip that to support, then you would be looking at some of these levels here. And if we do manage to get a breakout of this more macro trend line that we have been talking about there, then I would say that will be the end of the downtrend. We'll start seeing a reversal here, some higher highs and higher lows, hopefully pushing on up to new all time highs. Now, that does depend on what Bitcoin does. If we take a quick look at this pair here, if we do manage to push up towards the equilibrium of this parallel channel, flip that to support and then continue on up to new highs then all altcoins will be pushing up to new highs. Well, not all of them, but a majority of any sort of strong fundamental ones. And that does include hot. Now, if we do manage to push up here and reject off that, then I would say that isn't great sort of signs there. But if we do manage to hold a higher low and then sort of push up here, flip that to support again, then obviously that wouldn't be too bad. But this is definitely the level that I would be watching if we do manage to get a break of that yearly open at around 46K that I did previously mention. So hopefully we do manage to push up to this area flip it to support and then continue on up to new highs. And obviously if that does happen, 
we will see some nice moves out of hot here, definitely pushing us up towards at least these previous all time highs and hopefully higher. Now, if you are looking to place yourself some buy orders, we could see a rejection off this 20 day back down towards this horizontal support that I did previously mark up. I did tell you to have buy orders laddered in from here all the way down there to the bottom end of this sort of falling wedge. Also confident with some horizontal support there as well. Now, I would say a similar sort of thing. You could just ladder your buy orders from this level all the way down there. If we do see us break below this, get that bearish retest, then I would say that definitely this level will be tested before a move to the upside. Now, if you are working in the BTC pair, we'll take a look at that and I'll show you where you can actually pick yourself up some with your SATs. So taking a look at this, as you can see, we have actually broke below this support that I did have marked up here, got that bearish retest, and now we have continued on down. We are failing to flip that 8 EMA to support. We've been fighting with it for the past while. And the one time we did break through it there, we did reject off that 20 moving average. So if we take a look back over here and see if there is any support below that, okay, you can see there is support in and around that sort of 745 sats mark. There isn't really much in between those two levels. If we take a look even on the daily, no, there's not much there. So it isn't looking great on the BTC pair, but that doesn't mean we're gonna see a bleed in the USD one. We could easily just see Bitcoin going on a huge run and sort of leave all coins behind. And if that does happen, we will see a bleed in the Bitcoin pair. So we could be coming down to around this level. So I'd just be sort of placing some buy orders in and around that 746 sats mark. Now, if you do see us sort of flip this 20 moving average to support, then we could easily be moving up towards this 50, similar sort of thing to the USDT pair. And then if we do manage to flip that, hopefully we can target this area at around 1,200 sats. Same thing, if we flip that, then we will be moving up towards 1,500 sats. So we'll move back on up here to the USDT pair now, and I will do a price prediction for you. So if we take a look at this, we're on the daily, we'll hit auto here, and we will be running a fib here from this top that we had there back in April, all the way down here towards our lows that we managed to push down to there in December. So if we actually move on up here and take a look at this fib extension here, and see where we actually could be going if BTC does manage to push up to new highs. Obviously, I did previously mention it, all coins should be doing something similar. And if we manage to break through these resistance levels, flip this all time high to support and then get into price discovery, then I could easily see us pushing up towards this 1.618, just shy of that psychological five cents mark. Now, if we keep moving on up here, if we manage to flip that to support, we could be pushing up towards sort of this 2.618 at around eight cents. And I would say honestly that this 3.618 is definitely not out of play either, sitting just above that psychological 10 cents mark. Now, if that does sound crazy to you, we will take our calculators out here and see what sort of money it would actually take us to push up there. So what is this doing? There we go. So 0 0.1, and then we'll divide that by our current price, which is 0 0.004108. And that would give us a 24X from current prices for us to see a 10 cents hollow. Now, if we move over here, multiply this by our market cap, so 712 million, 351,424, and that would give us a $17.3 billion market cap for a 10 cents hot. Now, if we move over here and see where that would actually put us here on the ranks, 17 point, what was it, 17.3 would put us here below BUSD, moving Doge out of 13th position. And if you've watched my previous videos, as I have mentioned, if Bitcoin does manage to push on up to new highs, there's gonna be so much more new money flowing into this market. And I would say that $17 billion could easily be pushed out towards this top 30, maybe even on towards this top 50. And if you understand the fundamentals that Hollow has, you understand what the team are actually working towards, then you will know that we could easily be pushing up towards this top 50 bringing us up towards that 10 cents price point, valuing us at around a $17.3 billion market cap. I hope that's what you wanted to hear. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out. I love you all. Peace.